be going somewhere. Uh, I definitely see him going somewhere because. I definitely think he has a bright future in the, the sport media industry. Yeah, I'm excited to see what goes on in the future. When I moved out to Los Angeles, I thought that was going to be the end all be all. I thought that uh, I was going to finally thrive. I moved to my dream city. Like this was it. This was the moment that I've been waiting for for a long, long time. And it started off well when I got here. I was going to different places. I was seeing different things, new things, etc. Until one day it hit me that. So the last time we spoke, you guys know that I walked you through the journey of how Stacy started with Red Radar. Um, once he joined, he kind of hit the ground running and made the sports section his baby and really championed behind the Red Radar brand and made it what it is today. Um, and so when he did tell me that he was going to, you know, take a departure from Red Radar, of course, I was a little sad because I'm like, oh my gosh, who's going to talk about sports? I do recall this one day, man, I never forget it. Uh, I'm working, you know, uh, Stacey went in at the time. But he came in a little bit, a little bit after me, and uh, I'm always greeting him at the door. You know, even when I'm working, I'm always greeting him. But this particular time, I I was coming up to greet him, and man, he just had this uh, stiff, dry, empty look. And I'm like, you know, I know I want his normal him, so I'm like, you know, you good, Stacy, you good. And he was, he was just mute, man. It dawned on me that I was still suffering from what I was going through back in my own town, St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, all those six years that I was there culminated into like a, a chaotic, like a chaotic situation for me. And I became depressed and the whole time I was thinking like, I fucked up, I fucked up so bad and I might end up right back where I started from. You know, I feel like everybody needs a break, you know, um, I have moments where I feel like, oh my gosh, I have to get up and edit. I have a team to be responsible for. So I always preach, you know, mental health, self-care and things like that. So I think that, you know, with Stacey and being able to reflect and tell his story that he's already on the right track. And but I do recall one time he was like, he'd go through some type of phase or some type of mental uh, uh, state uh, around that time. But me not knowing, I'm just like, man, something ain't right. And uh, man, I kid you not, he just broke down crying. I mean, I never seen a man cry until I seen Stacy cry that day. And I immediately felt sorrow, like his pain. I didn't un quite understand what he was going through, but I felt it, man. I was battling depression for a while, and I realized that um, I didn't grow past what I was going through. I didn't overcome my past. I didn't, you know, I didn't leave out of St. Louis healthy. What I did was I escaped. I ran. I ran away from everything. I was just, I was just over it. I was tired at that point. And I was working like 16 hours a day.
like work, going to the next job, waking up four in the morning to get there by six, won't come home till about nine to 10 o'clock at night. And I was just working. And then, you know, I found myself um, going through a bunch of, bunch of physical problems. Like my chest was hurting all the time. I was cold all the time. Um, I was um, irritated all the time. Like I never felt like that before. And my heartbeat was like irregular. Uh, I went through hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia. Basically, I was killing myself. And I was very, very close of something bad happening. I was right there, like something close. I was close to something bad happening, like on edge for a heart attack type of stuff. So.